Good morning. We begin with breaking news. There's been another confirmed case of the new COVID variant, Omicron, in New South Wales, taking the total number of cases in Australia to six. Let's go straight to Amelia Brace in Sydney. Amelia, good morning. What more do we know about this new case? Well, Anne, 7 News can confirm that health authorities are currently preparing a statement which will confirm a fifth case of this COVID variant here in New South Wales. This time, it is a woman in her third who flew in on Saturday from South Africa. Alarmingly, unlike the four other cases we were already aware of, it's feared this woman did spend some time in the community on the New South Wales Central Coast. Our Health Minister, Brad Hazard, confirmed this news to 7 News a short time ago. Here is a little of what he had to say. Until today, we knew we had four cases. Uh, two came in on Saturday, two on Sunday. We now believe there was another case of a woman in her 30s uh, who came in on the flight on Saturday. This particular lady came in before the new arrangements, that is transferring to a health hotel. So she has been out in the community and health is now investigating that. She has essentially been in the central coast area. And as you just heard from Brad Hazard, there's absolutely no suggestion that this woman has done anything wrong because she did arrive in Australia before that was there was that direction for people from those nations of concern to isolate. Amelia Brace with that breaking news in Sydney. Thank you very much, Amelia. The new COVID variant has put a halt to our reopening plans with the Prime Minister hitting pause on the next stage. Live to political reporter Rob Scott in Canberra. Rob, good morning. Now, this is a strong reaction from the government while we wait to find out how severe the new strain is compared with Delta. Yeah, it is, Anna. The government's clearly taking a very cautious approach here. It knows that we can't keep this new variant out of the country forever, so this strategy is all about trying to delay its arrival. It's decided to postpone the reopening of the international border by two weeks. Skilled workers, students and working holidaymakers were due to start arriving from tomorrow, but that's now been pushed back until December 15. The travel bubbles with South Korea and Japan have also been delayed. This is to give medical experts time to learn more about this new strain, specifically how contagious it is and how effective the vaccines are. Our overwhelming view is that whilst it's a, an emerging variant, it's a manageable variant. This may, may turn out to be a milder variant, even if it uh, were uh, uh, more transmissible. We cannot keep this Omicron variant out forever from Australia. Eventually it will be here. Most importantly now, we do what we can to slow down that introduction. Omicron is actually already here. As we've heard, there are now six confirmed cases in Australia, five in New South Wales and one in the Northern Territory. Thankfully, all are in isolation. There are about 200 or so cases worldwide and countries are changing their health advice to cope with it. The UK has expanded its booster program to include all adults now. It's also shortened the gap between second doses and boosters from six months to just three. Australia's booster program is also now under review. But if you are eligible for a booster, which is six to uh, eight months after you have had your second dose of a vaccine, that is the time frame for you to be looking at having your booster shot. That advice is unchanged at this point in time. National Cabinet will meet this afternoon to discuss this new variant and potentially what it could mean for state borders. And Rob Scott live in Canberra. Thank you, Rob. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has confirmed the state remains on track to reopen its border despite the emergence of the new COVID strain. And as Tamara Bow reports, Queensland could reopen as early as next week. Well, so far, this new variant has failed to derail Queensland's plans of reopening the border. The Premier announcing yesterday that we are still on track to tear that border wall down just in time for Christmas, saying we are tracking towards that 80% double-dose vaccination milestone, which could come as early as next week, or that December 17 reopening date, whichever comes first. So with that in mind, we can expect to see some changes at our checkpoints over the coming days, in particular... This truck stop at Balinga, where we are this morning, will be dismantled and relocated further north to Coomera. Those works will be taking place between 8pm and 5am tomorrow night and Friday, with traffic to be diverted from the Gold Coast Highway onto the M1. As for how the rest of our checkpoints will look moving forward once the border is fully open, well, we are waiting to hear more from the Premier and hopefully more news will come today following that National Cabinet meeting. Thanks very much, Tamara. 
Victoria's pandemic legislation is set to pass Parliament after the state government secured support from a crossbencher. Transport Matters MP Rod Barton says if six amendments are made, he'll vote in favour. Changes include a new committee to review public health orders. The opposition is accusing the government of using the new Omicron variant as a way of scaring crossbenchers into a vote.